What's up, you guys? Welcome back. Yee yee. To another rendition of the Redneck Superman channel. Uh, I got another tale for today. I'm waiting on my kid's school to get out. And while I'm waiting, I figured I'd just record. So I was just now thinking about this. If it, it's along the same lines as the janitor story I uploaded a few days ago. And um, it was a really disturbing era of my life that happened and I don't know why these things happen to me but they do so um, this is another story from South Florida when I lived in South Florida for a, a short period and my parents got separated and divorced and I would go live with my dad in the summertime and live with my mom in South Florida and live with my mom and the rest of the school year you know for uh, in Northwest Florida in the Florida Panhandle so, this time I'm in South Florida with my dad for the summer. He'd gotten remarried, and, and the woman he married had a young son who was about two or three toddler's age. And, you know, we all bonded as kids, you know what I'm saying? I'm this is 92, 91, 92, somewhere around there. And I'm like 14, 15, maybe, something like that. And uh, we would just spend all summer playing video games, you know, doing this and that. But anyways, my little stepbrother, he was a cool little kid, man. He, he liked to hang out with us and play video games. He wanted to play video games with us all the time. But he would have problems going to sleep at night. He wouldn't go to bed. My dad would go to bed early because he had to get up early in the morning and go to work. And my stepmom would go to bed, too. And so, now that I was there, I, I could help out, you know, with, with her son. And, you know, we could all hang out together. So, uh, he would want to play video games with us so bad. But he'd want, and he wouldn't want to go to bed. And I remember, even to this day, my dad will, will laugh about this. He was like two or three, so he didn't know no better. And we had Nintendo. So I would unplug the controller from his end, and I, he thought he was playing the whole time. Till one day he realized <laughs> I had the controller unplugged. And then he started checking, and he got me. But anyways, we uh, lived this trailer on this old dirt road back in these orange groves. And just nowhere. Nowhere, nowhere, nowhere. And it wasn't far from a place in Sebring, Florida, that's haunted mansion that the cops are keeping everybody out of. And I don't know. I wish I would have known where that place was at, but I, I don't. I don't know if I want to go there or not. I'm not sure. I'm on the fence about that. But anyways, still, see, outside Sebring, Florida, old dirt road in this old orange grove farm. And, uh... Anyways, we're sitting here playing Nintendo one night, and it's getting kind of late. I'm like, hey, man, you got to go to bed, buddy. You need, you need to go to bed, because he's a little taller. I want to stay and play Tetris, okay? I want to play Tetris, okay? That's just what I want to do. So, I promise, you know, let him play a couple of video games with me, Super Mario Brothers, and then he's off to bed. Well, I go put him in bed, and every night, same ordeal. He was, he was just horrible trying to get him to go to bed. He was never wanted to go. He wanted to hang out and play video games. But I wanted to play video games. Anyways. So this one night, I put him in the bedroom and say, man, buddy, I'll see you in the morning. You know, wake me up and we'll, we'll watch Knight Rider or something on TV and we'll play some more video games tomorrow. So I go in there and, and I'm playing Tetris, you know, for a little bit. Because I don't know about y'all, I always got lost in playing Tetris. It would take, it would go on forever and ever and ever. It seemed like time would just like erase. So I keep hearing, after about an hour or two, I kept hearing noise coming from my little brother's bedroom, my stepbrother's. And I was like, man, he's, I told you, I was, and I'd say, go, go to bed. And I'm like, oh crap, I don't want to wake up my dad. So finally, after about a little bit of it, I kept hearing noise and noise and, you know, sound like he was crying and I'm like what the heck is going on in there so I go in there and said what are you doing and he's under his covers right and you can see because the moonlight would hit the hit the window just right back there and you could see in that room in that back bedroom and I'm like what are you doing he's like there's a monster under my bed and I'm like no there ain't and I and I go look under the bed and he's under the bed and I was like he's like I was like, who's in your bed? He's like, that's not me, Dad. I mean, not Dad. Psh. That's not me. That's not me, Bubby. He called me Bubby. 
and um, so I got up and I looked and there was nothing in that bed. I swear I seen him sitting under that covers. I swear that we, I grabbed him up and we went out of that room quick and I told my dad the next day and he didn't believe me. I was like, there was somebody in that bed. And uh, I'll never forget that. I was so creeped out. I, I went and grabbed my Bible and started reading. And we slept in the living room that night. And thank God nothing like that ever happened. And I still had problems with him going to bed. But, you know, just eerie things happen sometimes. And I don't know what to make of it. But that's my tale for today for when I was growing up. Y'all have a good one. America's greatest country on earth.